Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Publisher 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to merge a publication with an Excel database. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have an event coming up and here's the ticket stub for it. It's a drag racing event and I have a bunch of seats that I want to sell tickets for and I'm going to show you how to merge an Excel database that it automatically puts in the level, seat, and row for the tickets and so that way we don't have to manually type all of those things. Alright, so here's how we do it. So first off, I'm going to show you the Excel database, which I've saved on my desktop. On this database, it has very basic formatting. I just put the column headers up at the top, and these are your headings, which are the seats, which go 1 through 25, and then repeat. The rows, which go row A through uh, all the way down to row C. And then the pit, which is all of the different levels for each uh, row and seat. So you'll see there. We, there we go. And so you'll see this database, uh, again it has 226 tickets, or 225 if you don't count the header row. And so I want all of this information to automatically be put onto Publisher, that way I could just go to print those out, and it's going to print each ticket. Okay, so it's uh, going to save us a lot of time actually not having to put seat 1, row A, level pit on each ticket. Instead, it'll automatically be put there. So now that I have this Excel database done, I'm going to close it. Okay, it's very important to make sure it's closed. And then I go down here to Publisher. On Publisher, we're now going to link the database to Publisher. The way we do that is we go right up here to Mailings. And on Mailings, you go to Start Group. And then you click on Select Recipients. Right here, you go to choose an existing list. And this will choose a list. I'm going to go to desktop where I have my Excel database saved and then double click on seat list. Alright, so seat list is now opened up and I see right there it says stadium which is the name of the tab within Excel, so that's correct. And right here it says first row contains column headers, that is true, so I leave that checkbox checked. And then I click OK. Keep in mind that if I just wanted to uh, filter out for the pit section, I could go right here to filter and I could go to field choose the level, choose equal to, and I would type pit and then click OK if I was just printing out say the pit tickets. But it's up to you. I'm not going to do any sort of filtering on this one. Instead I'm going to leave it as is and click OK. You'll see nothing actually happens on Publisher when this when you do this. However we need to go ahead and uh, and add in a section for our um, our ticket seats and numbers. Okay, and so here's how we do that. Let's go to the insert tab and we'll go to the illustrations group and we'll use the shape to do it. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to use this shape right here which is bevel. And I'm going to just go ahead and put one of these right here. Okay, and this will show the uh, customer the um, different information regarding their ticket. Okay, and so right here I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some text. So I'll right click on the shape and go to add text. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to go right here and I'm going to put in the level, but notice it's in black for the text, so I don't want that. I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete that text and I'm going to change it to a different color. Since it's dark red, I'm going to choose white for the color. So I go to the home tab, font group, and change the color by clicking the font arrow and choosing white. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and insert in our information. So right here I'm going to type in level and this, and then I'm going to type a space and then I'm going to go to mailings tab and I'm going to go to the right and insert fields group and I'm going to click on this one right here which is insert merged field and this is where I'm going to put, uh, click on level and there we go. And so it doesn't show anything here, right? It just says level inside of these brackets. But unless we click right up here on the mailings tab, preview results, and you click preview results, you'll see it says level pit. Okay, so that'll let you know the level. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a space, and I'm going to type seat, and then a space. And I'm going to increase the size of this shape just a little bit so we can make sure everything fits. Okay. And for the seat, now I'm going to go back up to the mailings tab, write and insert fields group, insert merged field, and now I have the row and the seat. Okay, And so we know from our Excel database, let's say that it's row A, seat 1, I'm going to click on row right here, 
it'll add in row. I can't see it because the shape isn't long enough, but if I increase the shape, you'll see it says row. Okay. And then I will in insert a merge field again, and I'll put the seat. Okay. Now, keep in mind, when I preview the results, it's actually much less space that it takes up. So I'm actually going to decrease the size of this shape to about right about, oops, right about there. Okay, maybe a little less. Okay, and so that's the uh, preview result for the first one. If I click this next button, it'll show the next record. There's seat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so on and so forth. So that's looking pretty good. So all these results are now in there, and so I have all 250 what was it, 255 tickets, and so now I can go right here to finish and merge. Uh, keep in mind I could also copy this and paste it to put it in a different spot. And the cool thing is, over here on the other side of the ticket stub, I could actually put that right there. And so now, uh, after they tear it off, they know exactly what seat, and it's the same one. And as I decrease, notice it makes changes on both of them. So it's pretty intuitive in terms of figuring out what it's supposed to be, as long as you make a copy of it. So I made the copy with Control C and pasted with Control V. Okay, I could go right here to finish and merge, and then I could go to merge to printer, and you'll see here it'll give me a preview of the results. Okay, uh, and this one it made copies, four copies of each one. I could decrease that to one. Okay, there we go, and now I see I have a copy for each page. Okay, you could also add in multiple per page so that you don't use as many pages. All right, so there we go. So uh, that's how we do that, and you can see that it is 225 pages down here. And as we move forward, you see the record changes each time. So it just pulls that information directly from Excel. So that is how we would print a massive amount of tickets or anything else with custom information from an Excel database. So hopefully this video has taught you how to merge a publication with an Excel database. If it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions about this, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you and try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.